hello guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is on another um, goddess butterfly braid so I just finished washing my clients hair and I'm just blow drying it at the same time stretching it out a little bit but because she's um, natural she has like a 4c here texture so to make it easy to braid I'm just stretching it out with a blow dryer so I will be using the argan oil cream of nature and also the um, Shine and Jam and the More Bix, uh, Bix Wax, something. So I use about um, three different um, edge control um, to achieve the style, just to reduce the mini, uh, the eats that I put on hair to a minimum. So uh, in order to achieve the sleeky um, look, so I'm just parting the hair in like, in like an S curvy shape before applying the product. sectioning out um, the first part and I'm just gonna apply the cream of nature um, argan oil and I'm using this because she has um, hair loss uh, problem due to um, the braids um, the crochet braid um, she just um, took out she said she had it done somewhere and it was too tight and it took out her edges so I will be using that um, to cover up um, the places where it's obvious so she saw the style that i posted on instagram and she really loved it so she was one she was worried uh, i might not be able to um, achieve the look due to the way her hair look but i did assure her not to worry that we can still uh, get something done so you guys will see at the end of this video so now i'm just applying the mores um edge control because it has is thicker and it has more hold um, before applying the shine and jam so as you can see i'm combing in the product into the hair at the same time using my palm um, to slick it down just to apply pressure and then use your palm um, to slick the hair down So I'm going to section out a piece in the front, which is where I'm going to start um, the braid um, from. And I'm going to part the hair in the middle just to make it easy um, to stitch um, the braids. So you're going to take a piece of hair and then start braiding with the natural hair. As you can see, it's really very short. So uh, I had to really um, use my fingertips to grip the hair before applying the extension hair just to uh, reduce the uh, tension on our hedges which is uh, what breaks the hedges if you start um, the braid without um, starting with the natural hair there is tendency that um, the clients can have their hair um, broken off after taking out the extension hair especially if you're um, a tight braider like you don't want your client going bored after getting braids done so you want to start with the natural hair first so I love using my pinky fingers um, to part the hair as I break down. Um, you can use your index finger, your middle finger, whichever one is easier for you to stitch. And also you just um, keep parting um, extension hair as you break down. And I saw a comment um, this morning um, asking how to know when to stop adding the extension hair. And um, I think the best way is to have the size um, your you want to achieve in mind um, so when it's looking like it's getting um, bigger than the size that you want you want to stop um, adding extension here or if you have done all the braids um, you can look at the other ones you have done to compare uh, in order to determine the size that you want to achieve hopefully that makes sense because it's really hard to explain um, when to stop hardening here uh, I guess you 
also fill it um, when you're braiding it when it looks like it's getting um, puffed up so if you're a beginner I would say um, keep practicing consistency is the key the more you do it the more you get um, familiar the more you get more comfortable uh, with it so I started braiding like I've been hacks a lot of times how long I've been braiding I started braiding like since I was uh, maybe seven so I've been braiding like all of my life so i keep doing it i keep practicing and trust me well, most of the styles i do i'm like it's like self-taught like i really had to teach myself um just like um stitch braid uh when people say oh it's really hard I'm like if i can do it i believe you can do it so practice uh makes perfect so keep practicing and trust me you will um get there someday so I will stop talking so I can let you guys enjoy this um, tutorial. I feel like I'm talking too much. <laughs> so um, thank you so much for tuning in today. Make sure you watch um, to the end. And also leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think about the style. Thank you so much for watching.